Good evening, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. Today marks the first official summer weekend. As expected, a lot of people made the drive up the popular Mirror Lake Highway. And those who made it to the top were reminded of just how much snow we got in Utah this winter. News specialist Alex Cabrera was up there today and he says it doesn't feel like summer at all. It definitely doesn't feel like June up here. There is still a lot of snow here at Bald Mountain at the top of Mirror Lake Highway. So naturally, you can't blame people for wanting to come up here to check it out. The sounds of spring are there, but it sure still looks like winter, even though it is now officially summer, no matter what the conditions. Nice and clear out today. John and Julie Webb had to go to the top of Mirror Lake Highway for a hike to see it for themselves. The last time I saw snow, probably not even this late, was probably, what, 2012? It has been a long time since Utah has seen this much snow so late in the season. We've been up in the mountains in Idaho. It wasn't this, this much snow, so yeah, this is quite nice. Snow wasn't the only attraction. Up at Provo Falls, a popular stop along the Mirror Lake Highway, was raging. We figured it was going to be a little bit higher with how much snow we've had. It's why the Boyle family wanted to bring their kids. Skipping rocks in all that water is something they might remember forever. We want to make core memories where they are doing something different that we don't do every single day. And so it's nice to get out in nature and see the beauty that's around us. Lots of people wanted to see that beauty. It's the first weekend the entire highway has been open this year. And no matter how many times you may have been up here, it's always breathtaking, especially now. Oh, it's incredible. Like, we have lots of snow still. Our rivers are, like, full, and everything is green and beautiful. So it's nothing better than just enjoy our state. Now, if you do head up this way to see the snow or just take a nice drive, make sure to bring a light jacket. We noticed about a 20 degree temperature change from the bottom at Camas to up here at Bald Mountain. It is amazing to think July is just next week. <laughs> At Bald Mountain, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. Well, that's a really good reminder. You're yeah. not thinking layers in the middle of June, right. for that yeah. matter. But, you know, what is the 4th of July without a little snow? I mean, come I mean, on. yeah, just sprinkle right. a little bit of snow, yeah. you know. But